Hello everybody, Alex here from Sank on Exotics and today I've got some jobs on for you because it's delivery day and stuff like that and I've finally gone to the dark side and I've made a TikTok so if you want to follow me on the TikTok as well I put on a video every other day or something like that so uh, I might do, might bring it up a couple on a day or something so uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell and follow all my new stuff. Something really cool happened yesterday so uh, we had another fish lay eggs and it's not a goldfish. So uh, in here we have our cichlids. So uh, the ones that came through the rescue, I did the unbagging and out, out the bucket. Um, so we'll have a little look at it, we'll see the eggs and uh, hopefully they hatch. So she's hiding away at the moment, but those are all her lovely eggs. There's her label if you want to have a look at her label. Oh, she's come in, she's come in. Hello, darling. I know, I know, you're protecting your babies. Look a good mama. Look at all her eggs. She's got quite a few down there. And you, darling. Well, we'll leave her to it. Hopefully, they hatch and she looks after them. She should, but when they hatch, she should put them all into her mouth. And then she'll look after them in her mouth. And then once they're ready, she'll then spit them out. So... It could be quite an interesting little thing for us. But look how cool her eyes are. Really cool green eyes. Wow. If a rear has arrived and someone has sat on my box, you can see it. That's definitely a bum print. Definitely. You can even see the edge. Definitely a bum print. Someone's sitting on my boxes. So we'll go through, rope them all, and then crack on and have a good day. I've been downgraded to butter knife because I cannot be trusted. So, come on. We can do it with the butter. We don't need no sharp stuff. We can do it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, what have we got in the squash box? Ha! Ah, fake plants by the look of it. So, if we lift this out, we don't need you. We got ooh, quite a few fake plants by the look of it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. There we go. That's that one. Done. Wah. I think I do better with this one. Come on, there we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. What's we got? Whoosh, whoosh. So we got bulbs, which is good. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We likes the bulbs. So what else we got? Wooda, wooda. We got waterfall kit, we've got calcium, we've got bowls. Oh, lovely job. What else we got? We've got more bowls, more fake plants, and more bowls. Oh, ha ha, well, look at that. What? We're in the last one. Oh, come on. How do I do that? Oh, it must be, there's a layer of tape underneath this way. Oh no, I wonder if... <laughs> oh, come on. I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Ah, I got it, we got it. Oh, cocoa fiber. Whoosh. Lovely, lovely cocoa fiber. Ooh. <sighs> Then we've got substrate, 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 and substrate. Yeah, four, mm, Alex has bought more plants than he usually buys. Oh yes, I asked a plan, you see. So we're gonna add some more stuff to the chameleon's tank. We're gonna see if filling it out a bit more makes him feel a bit more safe and a bit more chilled out. So that's the idea. So we're gonna put extra bushes in for him today, try and fill it out a bit, and hopefully, it might make him feel a little bit more happy and want to eat a bit more for me. 
last three weeks now, by Friday, we've sold out of live food, really. As you can tell, that's all I get left each week, just a couple of boxes of crickets. So I've ordered almost twice as much as I normally do to try and keep the shop stocked for everybody. So uh, my idea is to at least last till Saturday instead of lasting till Friday. Um, Ooh, it's a fine balance, you see. So I don't want to have too much here that doesn't sell. And I don't want to have not enough here for people not to have enough. So it's a fine line of getting the right amount. So I've bought, I've, instead of having one box, we've got two boxes of live food, so I've bought extra. So uh, we'll put it on the shelf and see if I can actually fit it on the shelf. We're in with Mr. Chameleon. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and put his plants. So I've got the plants behind me. Whoop, there they are. Uh, and we're going to chuck some in now, make it a little bit more full for him. Uh, I'm going to put one towards the back and one towards the front, just to give him some more areas to hide. And then hopefully he'll feel a bit more settled. Anybody, eh? And then hopefully he'll start feeding a bit more consistently for me. Look at it. So I've just put one in there. I've literally done a little loop with some wire at the top so I can hang it down. I've just let it, I've done this one sideways instead of lengthways so it makes a wall so we can go behind it and chill out. So I'm going to bring one out here so we'll have protective walls that he can go and hide behind. There we go now, that's his chameleon tank. A lot more bushier for him. So hopefully he feels a little bit more settled and he might want to have a little feed for me later on today. He seems to be colouring up a little bit now he's got all that in there so we see how we get on. So we're just going to leave him to chill out and hopefully we'll come back later on and we can do stuff with him and see him might be brightened up. Uh, we have got to check on our new arrival. So we've got the snake to check on and we have our new arrival gecko to check on as well. In here we have our new uh, leopard gecko. So uh, I believe he's in his height because I can see his tail. Just see his tip of his tail. So uh, we're going to try and feed him and just see how he's getting on. There he is. Hello mate. Hello, would you like a locust? This? <gasps> what is that? Oh, 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 He's a hungry boy. He loves a locust. Let's see if he wants another one. Echo, we think he's a super hypo. Because he's got no dots on his back, but he's got dots on his tail, and he's orange. What's this? I got another one. I got another one. Oh, it's running away. Quick. Are you going to get him? I'll try it one more time. No, not interested. Just the one today. Hello, my lovely. Do you like a locust? Would you? Oh, would you like a locust, my lovely? I've got a nice one for you. Wah. Need to be finger with you then. <laughs> locust wouldn't let go. Still shedding on your foot, ain't you, darling? You nearly got it off, though. Nearly got it off. Chubbin and munches, eh? You know what you plant off? What you been doing? Should we see if your boyfriend wants one? Now he's all in his new tank. Give it a go. He's actually gone right to the back behind all the plants, so... I think he's going to feel more settled, so hopefully... I can just pop the, it out between the bushes and he won't see me and he'll eat it, hopefully. Not quite yet, I don't think. It might take him a little bit of time to settle in, but I'm going to try every day. I'm going to offer him food every day. There's loads of wormies down there, mate. He 
he's thinking about it. Still not too keen, but hopefully I'll try them again later on today. It's only been an hour since I did that. So uh, we'll leave it a little bit longer. Hopefully you'll feed today. Hey mate, you just woke up. Hey? You just woke up. You just let me stroke you on the chin for a second. No. In here, we have our red-tailed boa. So I believe she's being collected and going to a new home today. So uh, we're gonna just give her a little check over, see how she's doing. Cause she fed on Sunday, so she's had a good feed and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see how she's getting on. We'll have a little hold and see how she's doing. A little sneaky peek and she's down here. So I thought we'd just have a little peek. Woo! She's not happy. It's okay, darling. It's okay. She doesn't like being brought out of her viv, she doesn't. Come on, darling, you okay? Come on. You're not in the best of moods at the moment, are you, darling? She's gonna bite, bite me, she's gonna bite me. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. See, it's nice, see? She hasn't bit me yet. Calm down, darling. You're okay, she's just a little bit scared because she's a baby. That's all it is, calm down. You're okay. Calm down. Now breathe nice, just in and out, nice and steady now. There's no need to be strikey. What? There's no need, it's okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. So I'm gonna hold her now until she chills out. So, and then when she chills out, we treat her by putting her back in the tank. I can see her just swinging her head around and biting me there. Still got her mouth open, still in the S position. I just don't want her to bite me, really. If we can help it. You're okay, darling. See, it's okay. Still not very happy, are you, darling? See, there you go, look. And she's chilled out. All that for nothing. Hey, darling. See? All that for nothing. <laughs> you silly snake. She's going mad for nothing, you was. See, that's the best thing to do. Is just hold on. Don't go mad. Don't get scared. Just hold on. And eventually she'll realise nothing bad's going to happen. And she'll chill out nice. You see, I'm altering my hands now. I'm moving it. And she's fine. It's just that little bit of being scared because she's a baby. Whoop, too close to the camera, darling. See, so that's the best thing to do. If you've got a bitey snake, pick them up from behind so they can't bite you. Whoop, where's you going, darling? I can't let me pick you up. There we go. See, she's doing fine now. She just wants to have an explore. All she was was a little bit scared at the start. So you see, now she's all nice and chilled out. Whoop. We're going to slowly put her back in. Now I'm just going to move the viv. Move that there, like that. And then she can go and back into her hiding place. But I only put her back in once she chills back out. So if I touch her again, see, and I can pick her back out. And she's not bitey, she's not doing anything. Come on, darling, come back out. So go see. She's lovely, she's doing nice and chilled out now. Took her straight back out and put her straight back in. And she's still happy as Larry. So that's the best way to do if you've got a bitey snake, that's a bit of training on not to be bitey anymore. In here we have the little banana pass down. So we're gonna get him out, he's been wandering around a little bit today. So we get him out, see what he's doing, and just check on him. So later on today we might try and give him a feed again. Because he never ate Sunday. There he is. Hello. Hello, my 
Everybody too much? Hello. How are you? You didn't go into the ball. You didn't go into the ball. You're feeling a little bit happier, am you? A little bit more settled in. You're looking lovely, sir. I have to admit, you are looking very nice. What you doing? Hey? Oh, you've got lovely red at the back of your eyes. Lovely red eyes, eh? Thank you, mate. Well, you look like you're doing really, really well. So what we do, we'll put him back, like so. There you go, darling. There we go, you have a little explore. And then later on today, we're going to try and give you a little mouse. I'm going to do your water as well, because you're running a little bit low. A little bit low. So we'll do waters and a little bit of a feed later on today. Yesterday, we did have some escapee frogs. So what they've done is the moss that I use to block up any gaps and holes in the court bark backing um, had dried up and gone, and gone small. So one of them had gone round the back, one of them looked like he'd been round the back and managed to weasel his way back round. Um, so I did a couple of jobs on it yesterday, added some extra stuff because I've had some new moss come in. So uh, I've been going round, plugging it all up, got to take it all apart, get the frog out. Um, it's looking good now, so I'll show you what I've done and uh, the new moss. So there's our froggies. One, two, and three. And what I've done, so I've got extra moss here. Look, you can see it's all over the log. And you can see I've got fresh moss in there, up the top and down the sides. So uh, that's what I had to do, because all this moss had gone all soft and, and dried and gone all small. I've got to watch it, because I'm letting all the bugs out. Um, but yep, so that's what I had to do yesterday, because you had escaped, hadn't you, sir? Well, not escaped, gone into the back. So it's what we don't want. So I want to put a waterfall in here somehow, or some sort of constant sprayer. But I'll, uh, I'll look at that in the future. We're with Mr. Selfing Dragon, and we're going to clean his glass. I'm going to have to give him a feed first, because I just opened the glass and he's jumped straight out. So uh, we're going to have to feed you first, aren't we? To keep you happy, and then I'll be able to clean the glass and do my jobs. What are you doing? You going in or not? You going in? You going in? What are you doing? Oh, look, he's going in. He's going in and splashes me. So uh, I'm going to feed him now so I can do all my jobs and not have him trying to attack me. Wow. We loves him, we do. We loves him. Oh, I missed that one, didn't I? I missed that one. I wasn't on the ball with the camera. I missed. Do you want some veg? I've got some lovely veg for you. You've got tomatoes today. You've got tomatoes. Would you like to try a tomato? I've got my lovely mixed veg for you, sir. What do you think? Cucumber or tomato? Do you want to have a pitch? It's nice. Wah, wah, wah. Lovely bit of cucumber. You can eat the lot, have you? He's going to eat the whole lot, he is. So we're going to put him some nice cucumber and tomatoes on his little plate area. So we can have a good rummage, have a good munch. You nearly finished. So some days I don't cut it up very fine, some days I do. Because it gives him uh, more enrichment and takes him longer to eat his food. The rest is going to be for the dragon, so you can't nick all of it. We're going to give some to the bearded dragon, haven't we, darling? Go on, up you go, up you go, up you go, up you go. There we go. Let's we do anything now, we can stroke him. We can do whatever he likes, he doesn't mind us doing anything. He's really tame now, which is nice. His glass is a lot cleaner now, and we was able to do it without getting bit, and we've had him attacking us. So uh, that was quite good. So we'll leave him to it now, and I'll give, I'll give him some more locusts before I go today, and then uh, I might give him the whole pack just to fill him up. So we've got a plant delivery coming next week. So I've cleaned it all up, 
got it all ready, got all the plants out that weren't doing it very well. Um, and we've got a big, big, massive delivery coming. I've even got a nice piece of wood coming that's all covered with plants. So but I've only got the one coming. Um, if it goes well, I'll get some more in for you all, or we can order them and stuff like that. But it's a nice piece of wood, it's all covered with plants, already done for you. So uh, that's going to be really, really good. Yummy wormies. Yummy wormies. Another one. We like wormies. Don't we, darling? How's your tail doing? Is it doing good? Oh, we're going flashy again. Going all stripey. Camera doesn't like it. Doesn't like the UV light. Oh, they're going everywhere. They're going everywhere. We lost worms. We've lost worms. Got another one, darling. What are you thinking? No? You've got tomato on your nose. You've been eating your veg. She's got tomatoes and cucumber. There's definitely yet some because I put twice as much as that in there. And she got it on your face, darling. You got you need to have a wash. Why is the camera doing this? Better. Da -da -da -da. Would you like another worm? They're escaping, they're escaping, darling. You're gonna to have to eat them if you're gonna eat them. You gonna eat them? Want some more? No, just the one, just the one in your veg today. So I've started putting the substrate back in. Calm down, let's have a look at your tail. So you go, the tail's looking really good now. So it's all toughened up. She's getting a layer of skin coming, which is really good. But I have put some substrate back in there for her, but I haven't done the whole thing, just in case she starts messing around with her tail again. Don't you, darling, eh? We've got the red towel, we're putting them in the transport box, ready to go into her forever home. You've got to go in the box, darling. You've got to go in the box. In the box. In, no, 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 not out the box. In the box. In the box for me, darling. I think this might be a two-handed job. Yep, me think so. Here we go, snake in the box, ready to go to her forever home. Hello, buddy. Would you like a locust? You ran away. You might want one, you might not. Don't forget, we've got animal delivery tomorrow, we've got bits and bobs coming and we've got another animal delivery coming Thursday as well. So we should be a little bit stopped, but well, I'm struggling because there's just not much on the list at the moment. So uh, I'm going to try my best, but we'll probably be having delivered quite a lot of deliveries just to try and stock up. I thought I've been working hard in the shop, you know what I mean, I thought I needed to treat myself. So, you know what I mean, I went out and I splashed a little bit of cash. What do you think? What do you reckon, eh? Think it suits me? Do you reckon? It's only a Ferrari. <laughs> it's not really mine. <laughs> I had some of you though, didn't I? I had some of you for a second, thought it was mine. It's the new little world in feed on Sunday. We're going to give him another little feed today. And we're just going to give him a chance just to have another one. Um, so see if he wants it and then just see how we get on. He might not take it because he's still very timid. Oh, we got it, we got it, we Lovely job. Well, I finished off the day by showing you how our baby fishes are getting on. Here we go, look at all the babies. There's quite a few in that corner. As you can see, all the little black lip flecks are uh, babies. Around there's even more. Down by the filter there's even more. There is quite a few babies. They're doing quite well. They're all little free swimmers now. There he is. How's you going little buddy? You're a proper little fish. Proper little fish swimming around, living life. Oh he's off, he's off, he's off. Everybody, so I'm afraid that's all the time I've got for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. New TikTok. And if you want to watch a new video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So see you in the future. Bye.